Welcome everyone. This is our 2016 Gochan Elementary School English Club. In this video, our students will help you learn to speak English better. Students will show you many useful expressions that you can use when talking about good ideas with friends at work. And in many other situations, we ask for ideas and respond to them. But we don't always do it naturally. For example, you might hear a dialogue like, Let's study English. Okay, sounds good. But you won't hear that from our students. Our students are going to show you some useful ways. Of saying you like someone's idea. That is a great idea. That's a great idea. Hi, Emma. Let's play a board game. That's a great idea. Let's go. This is a very common expression, and it's often used with a double stress on that's and great. That is an idea. That's an idea. Hi Cindy. Hi Sally. Let's eat bulgogi pizza in your home now. Hmm, that's an idea. Let's go. This is another very common expression, and the stress here is placed only on that's. Good idea. Good idea. Hi Ryan. Hi Alex. Let's play Clash Royale and post a video on YouTube. Good idea. Let's go. <laughs> This expression shows more enthusiasm. Which is why it's a short expression. You can also say "great idea," "fantastic idea," "wonderful idea." What a great idea! What a great idea! Howdy, Paul. Hi, Alex. Why don't we play computer games together in your home? What a great idea! The structure in this expression is very useful. What a or what an plus an adjective. Plus a noun. For example, you might say, "What a nice person," or "What a terrible mistake," or "What great shoes." I think that is a fantastic idea. I think that's a fantastic idea. How do you do? Hi, Ruby. Let's go to Sunny Sum and play video games. I think that's a fantastic idea. Let's call Sunny now. Adding "i" to this expression shows your personal appreciation, and we often stress "i" to emphasize this. I like that idea. I like that idea. Hi, Jun. Hi, Alex. Let's go to the park and play baseball now. I like that idea. This expression is used very frequently. And normally we stress the word "like." I like the idea of that. I like the idea of that. Hi Anna. Hello Emily. Let's go to the restaurant and eat cream pasta. I like the idea of that. Again, this is a very common expression, but in this one, we normally stress the word "idea." That is not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Hi Sarah. Hi Jane. Let's go to a mountain snow park and then ride a snowboard. That's not a bad idea. Let's go to snow park now. We often use a negative structure for a positive effect for emphasis. So we would say something like, "It's not uncommon," or "It's not impossible," or even "It's not unlikely." You know what? That is a good idea. You know what? That's a good idea. How did Jet? Hi Ben. Do you wanna have a Halloween party with real ghosts at your home? You know what? That's a good idea. This expression uses a rhetorical question. You know what? And it's a strong way of giving your opinion of something. It really shows that you have taken time to think and process what the person has said. Americans love using idioms in everyday conversations. So here's an idiom for this situation. Cool, 
cool. Hi, Swanee. Hello, Grace. Let's go shopping at the little demo and buy an iPad Pro for us. Cool, let's go. This is a common informal way of saying you like an idea or, or a suggestion. You might hear this in a dialogue like, Hey, Brian, let's go grab a pizza after work. Cool. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you think this video was a good idea. You can find this and many other videos on my YouTube channel, Kaizen Teaching.